now that I have finished my no VMS experiment with this power shelf system, the sensible thing for me to do is to hook up the VMS. But I just had these new toys arrive and I would much rather play with these. So these are the little voltmeters that you can buy on AliExpress for and eBay. These particular ones are $13 US for 10 and these ones say they will go down to 2.4 volts which is very nice. Um, the, the, apparently the range is 2.4 up to 30 volts and they say the accuracy is 0.3% which is rough enough. Um, operating current less than 30 milliamps which is eh, as long as you've got a, a big power wall then that doesn't matter um, but if you had a small little uh, 12 volt device that only had a few cells you wouldn't want to be running these all the time um, so I got all excited about that and was thinking oh how can I mount these on my my pack somehow and that looked like the best position so I thought okay I can clip I can 3D print something clip that in there and then throw the LED on there that's kind of nice but the problem with 3D printing is the moment you design one thing you go oh hang on Maybe I can do that with less plastic. And that also works, but it's a bit loose and floppy. So I went more elaborate. And there's that version there, but of course I can't, couldn't stop there. So then I designed something with a bit of a beefier flangey thing in there. And then that's a bit tight and so eventually after lots of iterations I ended up with this one here oh look at that that's nice um, so that's got a little hole in the back for the wires to come out so it'll be nice and tidy and it'll read quite happily so, um, so I printed a bunch of those, and my plan is to add that to the power shelf. And then, after that, I'll add the VMS. Um, you're probably curious to know how accurate they are, so I'll just solder them together and power them up and see see what happens. Okay that's pretty rough but um, I don't want to spend too much time on these if they are going to turn out to be crap um, although I should have thought of that before printing all these. I got a bit over excited there. Over here I've got some batteries in a battery holder. Um, I don't care about the voltage loss along this long white cable because I just want to compare that they're all saying the same thing. Oh man, they're not even the same colour. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. All right, <laughs> they're an assortment of colours. Okay, so we're getting 3.6, 3.7, 3.96, Now they do have the little pot trimmer here, so I could tweak them. Uh, let me go and find a minuscule, minuscule screwdriver. Okay, so I've got a real multimeter. It's not a fluke, but it, it's a 
lipstick. Uh, it's one of the cheap multimeters recommended by Dave Jones on the EEV blog. I trust it way more than I trust these. So let's see what this says. It says 3953. So I'm going to tweak these all to read 3.95. And then at least they will be consistent. That's the theory. One. And. Good. So now at least they're all reading the same thing, which is good. Uh, oh, the next thing you probably want to know is. Um, they uh, say they will go down to 2.4. Is that true? Let's find out. Alright, I've got 12 volts running off my power over here. And I've got one of these variable boost buck converters. Okay, so what have we got? If I turn that on, it's on 25 volts. 24.9 on a few of those. I might just sellotape those down so it's easier to see them. Okay, now if I turn that off, it's a bit easier to see. So this is saying 23.0. What does the multimeter say? 22.9. Huh. Okay. Uh, so it's possible that this is outputting 23, but I'm losing um, a little bit down this um, white wire. So, okay, let's go and go all the way down to where we're interested. So, 4 volts. What does the multimeter say? It says 3.98. Let's go down to 3 volts. Now, I can see they're starting to dim. If I go back up to 4, Three, four, three. So that's in three volts. This is two point nine nine. Couple of two point nine nines and the rest of two point nine eight. Okay, two point five. So that's in two point five. This meter is saying 2.5 precisely. Ooh, lovely. And most of those are about in the right ballpark. Um, the fact that they're point, they're one digit out, um, doesn't actually bother me that one. This one is still reading 2.49, but it's incredibly faint. Um, Let's see if we can get down to 2.4. 2.4. Well, that's impressive. They're all still lit. They're pretty faint. And the actual voltage is 2.39. So there's a 2.4 there and a 2.38 there. Lots of um, 2.39s. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see how far below 2.4 it will go. 39, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 2.3, 
according to this meter. Oh, well, let's keep on going. Uh, two point two point two, and it's still all going. Uh, that one I can't really see what the hell's going on there. So that one is effectively useless, and this one is effectively useless. Um, it's amazing, this one here, 2.18, uh, is still nice and bright. Interesting. Um, the orange ones are starting to get a little bit hard to read. The red ones are still pretty good. Oh, well, this is interesting. So, 2.2. .2. Alright, well, we've got to find out where the cutout is. Two point one. You can still read that one quite nicely. The orange ones are now pretty impossible to read. The green you can't see. Um, and oh, this is interesting. So this one here is reading two point three two. Two point three three. Two point three three. Right. So. All but one are no longer reading correctly. This one, still a chimp. Wow. Let's go back up. So 2.2 .2 and these ones are reading falsely. 2.3 yeah, I don't know what's going on with these. Let's go to 2.4. Right. So I think the moral of that story is you can trust them down to about 2.4. And they'll go down to 2.3, but then 2.33 is where they seem to lose the plot. They're still lit, but they're not measuring, except for this one here. Well, I, I need to know how far this can go, because that is still uh, two point. Still going down. Wow. So, two point one, two point oh nine. Wow. There we go. 2.03 is when it gives up. 2.05 and it's back in business. And the other ones are completely dead. 2.2. .2. This one's coming back, but it's yeah, it's saying 2.31. 2.3. Point 2.35 point here. And we're, st we're getting okay readings on these ones. Yeah, so that's interesting. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Most of our batteries are going to be living around the, let's say, 3.8 mark. So I should probably recalibrate those so that okay so I've now got 3.8 volts on here and I've got a couple here that are on uh, 3.78 so I should tweak those to get them a bit more in line but otherwise I'm pretty happy with that I'm going to Throw them in these, in these, and make some nice little monitoring meters that will run on the seven groups on my two kilowatt um, small groups pack. And then once I've done that, then I'll put the BMS on. I promise. 
I'll put a link down below to the AliExpress page where I bought these. They were $13 US for 10, which is a pretty good deal. If you can specify the red ones, which because they seem to work better. Um, and also, if you're interested, uh, this is reviewed by Adam Welch quite nicely. Um, I'll link up there to his videos. Um, these will accept an input from 6 to 40 volts DC um, and output up to 32 volts at 5 amps. Uh, so that's quite nice if you've got like a, a 12 or a 24 volt battery bank. You can use this as a um, variable power supply. Um, so I uh, hope that's been interesting. I'm going to build up some of these and I will catch you next time. Cheers!